Hi everybody, I'm back for a video, which I think I might make it into two videos. We'll see um, how long this takes. I got some happy mail today. You can see I got something from Foxy Fix. This was something I wanted to use for One Book July, but I ordered it a little too late. Um, so I got that. And then I also got something here from Baumkuchen in um, California, and I love them. Let's see if I can get that washi tape off and even their cute fragile stickers, see if I can get those off. Um, so, let's see. Why don't we start with the Baumkuchen um, package? And I even love, it says here, mail more love. Very cute. So all I did was cut the seal to make sure that I didn't cut the item. So, ooh. So I'm gonna try and get that washi tape off. Let's take a look at this. First of all, look how cute this is. It says, the journey is the destination. And then it has it says, to John. I have no idea what could be in here. In pouring tender care on your package, because these artifacts can be used and loved for a lifetime, and this is the beginning of their journey. Oh, I see, it's my receipt. That is a beautiful card. It's really, really thick. It has their web page on it, so you can see their baumkuchen.net. And that's their logo, the B and the overlapping the C. Um, I'm gonna see. I love it, they kind of like origami this. Let's see, it says, packed individually with care on July 16th by someone's little stamp. We love to hear from you. So there's their email address and the address of the shop, and then my receipt. And it says, I'll fold it here so you don't see anything, it says, thank you, John. Hope you enjoy your new diary pouch. Is that Amy? Amy? Oh, I don't know. Anyways, so that is very cute. I let me see if I can fold that back up the way they had it done and put it in my journal. But look how gorgeous this is. Designed by people, made for people. And there's some cute little washi tape I'm gonna save and a cute little sticker. So, let's undo this. Like a double stick adhesive. And this is like um like a wax paper bag, one of those cello bags. Yep, it's a bag. <laughs> I was like, I think it's a bag. So what I ordered was something to carry one of my traveler's notebooks around. And it's quite crinkly paper. Here you go. You can see this is the Atelier Penelope bag. Fermant dans un atelier par Atelier Penelope. Um, there it says Atelier Penelope. Um, it's interesting. It's a um, French name, but it's made in um, Tokyo. Tokyo, yep, Tokyo. Um, okay, so what you'll see is there's a zipper here, there's a zipper here, and there is a pouch here. I hope it's, let me double check to make sure I'm in the screen. I think the camera might have fallen a little bit. It is 107 degrees outside. I think the heat is a bit much. But 
I've moved some of my stuff back into my uh, Midori Traveler's Notebook, and it is a real Midori before they became, before they changed their branding and named it Traveler's Factory. Um, and there's my Traveler's Star pendant, which I think you can see. But what you can see is this is perfect size to hold your Traveler's Notebook. And then look, that folds over. And I guess you could carry it like a clutch if you were, you know, a purse carrier. Um, and then see, you've got this beautiful pocket here. Yeah, this is going to be two videos because you can take then. Where's my pencil case? Ah. This is what I've been using this um, One Book July. And you can see I've crammed a few more things into it. So you have this pocket here, this pouch. And then on this side, you have another pouch to hold stuff. So I've got my Midori Traveler's Notebook. I've got my journal and my calendar in there. Now, let's see. Let's take all the stuff out that I have in here. Um, and there's even more than the last time you saw it. So I always have my ruler. I've got a ton of pens and pencils. There's a glue stick, more pens. I've got my stencils. I've got a couple of book binder clips just in case. I've got some pencil sharpener, the Midori brass one, and some post-it notes. Okay. So I had all of that stuff in here. These Laheat Labs are amazing. Um, so I'm gonna kinda clean this out. I don't need the Sharpie, I don't ever use it. I use these for drawing, but I never use the green. I end up using the light blue, not the other two. I don't use the green. So we'll keep those. Um, I have a couple of blue-black pens in here because I was preparing a, um, like a gel ink video. Um, and then I ended up not wanting to do it because Cindy, I can never pronounce her last name. Um, you know, Llama Loves Letters, she has an amazing video out. So, or she just recently posted it. So go watch her video. Um, but these are my three favorite pens. Um, da -dum, da -dum. I've been using my Microns. It's not that one, I think. Not that one. My 005, that's my 05 and my, I think that's a three or a four. Anyways. Here's another blue-black. Here's my Coletto in case I need red or green ink. These I don't need in here. They're very, very, very pretty. And they were um, gel pens. Um, this is my water, my Stabilo, and I was looking for that when I was doing some arting, so I'm gonna set that aside. Um, I've been using this Tombow, the N95. It's a, a cool gray in my um, uh, bullet journal. I have a couple um, of these pencils, the Ticonderogas, because I need them for being a musician. I've got a standard mechanical pencil. Everyone knows my favorite Muji pen. And then my Tombos that I've been giving a try this, this month. So let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Oops. I have a feeling it's not supposed to carry this type of stuff. But I just want to see. And then you can put like a ruler. 
Now these are my stencils. And I actually haven't been using my um, Hobonichi ones. The ones I've been using are the Alphabets, the Bills, and that. I haven't been using these others lately, but I think it's because, you know, we're not in school. So, let's put those in there. We'll put my post-its. And the only thing I don't have in here is my, um, eraser. Ooh. That might be a bit much for in there, but really, if you think about it, there isn't that much stuff that I don't have in there. That's a very cute pouch, and they come in lots of different colors. This is the mustard color. I might thin that out a bit, because there are pens that I just don't use. Like, I haven't been using the microns. Those are the wrong size. And if I do use one of the blue-black pens, I use... Actually, I use these all. Oh. I don't like the way this one writes because it's such a small. Let me take a couple of those out. I don't need four Ticonderogas. And you know, I really only use the light blue. I don't use the purple. But I do use... Actually, you know what? I haven't used this. I put it in there for the trip and never used it. They're all really nice pens. The Uniboss Signo DX in the blue-black. The Mica, the Pilot Mica, Hi-Tech C Mica. And then this is just the Hi-Tech C, a slightly different ink. That's the 038, but the 038 Uniball is actually bigger than the 04 in the high tech C. I find that very intriguing. So we'll put the there. We'll put those in. And I have to have an eraser. Um, and I have to have my whiteout. So that's what we'll keep in there. There we go. Look at that. See? That's all I need. You know, for just my general general purposes. That is perfect. And see, and I can still have my Stadler pen that I've been using in here. I think that's this week. Yeah, I just got home from teaching. Um, so, there you go. I thought I would share a quick video of this wonderful pouch that I discovered on Baum Kuhen's uh, webpage. I will link them down below. Um, there's their email address, karma at baum-kuhen.net, and their webpage is baumkuhen.net. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!